Hi guys, so I'm in Panama City in the El Cangreo neighborhood. I need to go get some groceries from Ray's, which is one of the more popular chain uh, grocery stores in Panama City. Well, probably in the whole country, but definitely Panama City. But before I do that, I need to go to my little favorite, uh, um, I call it a dollar store. <laughs> Sometimes you can pick up little knickknacks from the dollar store, but you know, like air fresheners and a few other things that you pretty much find under a dollar. So we're gonna go to a uh, total uh, dollar, dollar. See right across the street there. Take you. Yeah, take you with me. Uh, and there, she was in there for a hot second. Pick up a couple items and then go into Ray's grocery store. So let me pick back up when I'm in the store here. They may trip if I start bringing a camera in there. So let me uh, pick back up. All right, let me go in here. I know it's uh, tripping once I... Uh... Okay, they want you to put your bag away, so... Oh, I look like... Okay. Alright, let's see. What we got in here? They got a lot of stuff. Everything's a dollar. I have napkins. I'm going to get a little thing of paper. No, I get the paper. I have napkins, so. I'm going to grab paper towel another day. I really need air freshening. Probably can get detergent and everything out of here, but I don't think I need it today. So maybe give me a chance to come back another day and see what they got in here. Detergent usually uh, everything's a dollar. Oh no, more than a dollar. You know, just like in the states, everything in the dollar store is not a dollar, but. I do need some type of casino. They have cleaning supplies already, but I need. Let's see. Oh no, I thought I. Yeah. I got enough candles. Some of these candles are not as strong as I thought they would be when I bought one last time. All right, they had some things that I needed, but uh. They just didn't have what I expected from last time. So anyway, so let's go in the race. Let me show some prices and some things in here. So you get an idea of what's going on price-wise. The cool thing about being here, for me at least, everything's in dollars. So I don't have to... I don't have to uh, try to... Uh, convert in my head uh, based off the exchange rate this is all dollars so what you see in the pictures or in the video is the price in dollars for those uh, who are used to dollars in, uh, in base Yeah. Well, all right, let's see where this is the, uh, all right, so get an idea of what's going on. I mean, just like any other grocery store, anywhere in the U.S., they look at some prices, uh, detergent, $10 for fab, you know, Tide, no matter where you go, is going to be crazy expensive. But fifteen dollars, sixteen dollars. Well, I guess if you have a card, I think maybe. Yeah. Anyway, fifteen, sixteen dollars for a big thing of Todd. I mean, is that ex that's expensive even in the U.S. Uh, let's see what else we got here. You know, I just you know I just paid a candle. I probably could have got it cheaper here, but uh, that ain't what I was looking for. We got air freshers over here, so maybe I can get a little. 
what I'm looking for. Oh, air freshener is about the regular price. Manzana and Canela. That must be a common. Yeah, that must be common here because I always see that in every store. different types of cleaners. I don't recognize any of these here, so. Fabuloso, of course, that's in the U.S. That's cheap, but that's cheap in the U.S. too, so that's pretty cheap. Clorox, dollar ninety. Not bad. Clorox, dollar eighty-five. I don't need any Clorox right now, I don't think. All right, let's, uh, let's go back here some Original, okay, that's a good price for this little small thing right here. That's all I need. Yeah. I mean, you get different prices, but they're relatively inexpensive. Yeah, 520 for Crystal beer, Panama beer, 85 cent a piece. I guess you can buy one. Atlas by Boa, it's pretty good beer. I don't see the price. Baboa, of course, American beer, 660, 690 for Budweiser, full bottle. Those seconds, a dollar thirty a piece, so you can buy them individually. Blue Moon, dollar sixty a piece, buy them individually. 690 for Heineken, full bottle. That's not too bad, I guess. Beans, you can buy them relatively inexpensive. And not like a dollar, but then again, we're not talking about Walmart prices either, so. Yeah, means pork and beans, dollar fifty-five. Yeah. Sardines. I like sardines. A couple things of sardines, too. Yeah. Skip it. All right, vinegar. I should get some vinegar though. Vinegar, apple vinegar. Let me get this right here. Dollar sixty. That's a good price. Hey, we got all types of chips here. So. I don't buy chips like that, so I don't know if it's a good price or not. I only see one bag of Lay's. Everything else is a foreign brand of our chips, so as you can kind of see the prices right there. Three dollars for Papa's, which is our basic chips. Sodas. How much is a big two-liter Coke? I guess it's two-liter or two point two five liter. Two forty-five. Okay, that's you know Coke is always pretty cheap enough. In South and Central America, in Mexico, I noticed that. Sometimes it's actually cheaper than water. Chicken, three different prices. Chicken, Let's see here. I'm looking for uh, uh, some uh, chicken, reasonably priced, I think. So, filet, I mean, boneless chicken. Pork. Okay, that's not too bad, I think. Got lean beef, I'm 560, 5%. I, hot dogs, little hot dogs are pretty uh, popular here. Canadian bacon, that's five fifty seven for Canadian bacon. I mean since I have oil I don't really need butter. I use it by yogurt, but I'm gonna dodge the yogurt today. Alright. That's 70 cents, but that's small. But I can get a couple of probiotics. Get a couple here. Yeah. So they 
They got all type of juices here. Dollar thirty three, local brand. Of course, you got your homemaker premium American juice. Two oh two. It's not bad. Record price. Prices look good for the juices. Cheeses. That's what I really need. Cheeses. And Gouda. Yeah, cheese is a little expensive, but uh, yeah, not totally expensive, but. Yeah. 823 for that cheese mozzarella. They got different brands, but local brands, so I mean you don't ship cheese to another country. So but craft does some craft work there. Provolone. They got some prepared meals, chicken. You know the tissue style chicken 620, about the same as Costco for whole chicken. Yeah, what else they got here? They got cut some ham, 620 for hot. I don't like ham like that. I guess you got a one of them situations where you got to catch it. Yeah, just ham. Oh, that's a lot of ham. I don't like ham like that. Yeah, really poor selection of uh, fruits and vegetables. I'm going to get this uh, repello, which is uh, cabbage. Oh, oh, let me get some tomate, tomato. Yeah, they didn't have any cucumbers, which I'm surprised. Let's check out the eggs, though. All right, for six eggs, you can get $1.19. If you do a whole 12, that's $2.99. I guess that's about the normal price in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. It's like it's just the normal price what I'm used to. I mean, didn't seem high, didn't seem low. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean the prices look about 243, 225, 229. They got all type of prices for 12. Of course, the raised egg. I don't know why their eggs gonna be expensive than everyone else, but uh, I guess they got them making special. But yeah, they all under 250 for the most part. I think I kind of covered everything basic this whole store, I think. I, mean, I didn't go through prices of everything, but I think you get the gist of what prices are for most things. Let's get a thing of water. Better price. Yeah, they got all type of, you know, the same. So prices look about the same, I guess. U.S. for frozen meat, frozen chicken, frozen stuff like that. Donuts, obviously, fries. Yeah, they seem to have some of the same things, I guess. Fries, yeah. And you got the ice cream on that side over there. I'm not gonna even price ice cream. Again, a lot of them are just local brands. Boarding is familiar, but. Obviously you got a uh, Bags of mixed vegetables, 285 for a small bag. Uh, green bean, five dollar for green bean. Wow, that's expensive. Yeah, they don't have a lot of fruits and vegetables. I mean, vegetables. They have fruit, but not vegetables. Not a lot of it anyway. Not in this store. Yeah, piece of everything looks. 
prices gets the price is not that bad. I think the first time I came here, I, I guess I just came from Colombia, so I was a little, it was a t- sticker shop. But since I just came from other countries like Africa and places like that, where the price is still cheaper than the U.S. but still in line with the U.S. And this one is pretty much the same, but a little cheaper. Depends on what you buy. See, I couldn't pass through without talking about the alcohol. Uh, listen, I don't drink alcohol like that, so. That big thing of vodka, that's $36 for the absolute down at the bottom down there. Smut off. I do like a little alcohol every once in a while. Bacardi, 12 bucks. Okay, that's not too bad. $21 for that gigantic one. $10 for this one. Okay, this prices seem decent. Yeah, I get I don't drink like that, so I don't know. Bacardi. That's five bucks. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we could come back and pick up some. But they got places out everywhere for alcohol, so. So, yeah, you get an idea. I mean, again, Abuelo, 80 bucks. I don't know what that is. Patron, $68. Silver Patron. Yeah. Now, normally that's supposed to be the cheapest vodka right there, the Cattell one. That's 24 bucks. Yeah. And they get everything here, so you see something you like, they have it here. Alright. What else? Yeah. Alright, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Wine, plenty of wine. Cheap wine, six dollars, five dollars, four dollars, seven dollars. All types of wine, even some seven dollars. Okay, that's stakes out prices. Yeah, some of the prices are definitely the same as the U.S. Yeah. All right, I, mean, I already talked about the chips. I think, uh, all right, I'll wrap it up on the way out. All right, I just completed my little grocery uh, run. When I get home, I'll show you what I bought and tell you how much I paid. Uh, been a while since I shopped in the U.S., so we'll see. All right, let me show you what I got here. All right, so I got some chicken breast, some some ground beef, some eggs, some sardines right there, some olive oil, some air freshener, water, four things of a uh, yogurt, uh, shaboni, shaboni, bani, which is can be a little expensive, but that wasn't a bad price, I guess. Uh, bacon, some type of chicken ham or whatever, apple, uh, cabbage, onions, tomatoes, a little thing of a, uh, uh, what, is, what is this again? Oh, some type of soup, uh, vinegar. And just the grand total came to like uh, 47 bucks, I guess. I. I don't know if that's cheap or not. I mean, <laughs> I'll be honest, I've been out of practice, you know. Uh, yeah, I've been out of practice. I mean, I guess it's about what I kind of used to spend, but then again, that's a couple, few years ago. So anyway, so there, there you have it. Uh, I, I, this is reasonable. This is reasonable. This, this, this is going to kind of last me for a little minute for what I want to do with it to supplement my other meals. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this little trip to the grocery store. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. And I'm in Panama City, uh, so I hope you kind of stay with me. Don't forget to like that, uh, click that notification bell for the next uh, video. All right, talk to you later.